हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर आर एम डी पीडियाट्रिक रेसिडेंट एट पी जी एम ई आर डॉक्टर आर एम एल हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली एंड दिस वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन लास्ट वन वीक प्रिपरेशन फॉर नीट पी जी सिंस वन वीक इज ओनली लेफ्ट सो आई बी टेलिंग यू इन डिटेल हाउ टू प्रोसीड इन दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज प्योरली इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड देर इज नथिंग एल्स जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड स्ट्रेटेजीज इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो विल प्रोसीड सो दिस वीडियो हैव डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट्स वन इज हाउ टू फिनिश नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स इन सिक्स डेज एंड द लास्ट मिनट प्रिकॉशन दैट यू मस्ट टेक सो दैट योर एग्जाम डजेंट गो हैव अयर एंड यू डोंट panic okay so if you haven't watched this video which i released 2 weeks ago on the 17 strategies for new neat epg exam pattern then you must go and watch because i have discussed all the things that are necessary and the precautions to be taken during exam for this new exam pattern so coming to the topic uh, how to divide uh, 19 subjects in first 6 days okay so this is the time table that i have prepared from june 16th till june 21 this is a week of super revision where you have to study so many topics in a limited amount of time okay so i have divided subject into three categories big subject average subject and short subject big subject you will give we giving 6 hours average subject 4 hours and short subject 3 hours and this will go for 6 days so we'll be covering 19 covering 19 subjects so the very important point that you have to note here is that i have divided these subjects and the topics in this according to chronological order and according to the order of importance so i have given so much thought into this process so whatever i have given just blindly follow it if you don't have any revision plan if you have revision plan go according to it if you don't have just blindly follow this because i have given so much thought into this okay so one exception in this is that on june 18th you will be covering a part of ent that is throat here you will be covering only ear and nose and here here you will be covering the throat part and then on june 19 uh, you will be uh, having total 13 hours okay so rest of the subjects will be studying for 12 hours okay rest of the days so here you will be taking a break okay break for uh, maybe uh, you will be co covering forensic a bit quick so that you'll get around 1 hour of less time because on next day you'll be covering for 13 hours okay so this we have divided into 3 and 3 so we won't be wasting much time okay so big subjects how you will be waking up at 6:30 am big subject you will be giving 7 am to 1:30 pm with half an hour of break in between for your breakfast then you will be taking a small nap till 3 pm and from 3 pm to 5 pm you will be going ahead with the short subject and then average subject you will be giving this 4 hours where 30 minutes is for dinner okay so that you will be getting 7 and 1/2 hours of sleep and you will be covering 19 subject very important topics okay very important i'll tell you what to study also okay so the next question is how to finish big subject in 6 hours so i have divided each and every subject according to the weightage and whatever the time that is allotted that is also based on the output so that this weighted based time division will give you the maximum marks in exam okay that is the uh, thing i have done five and half hours of revision of revised videos okay so uh, you might have revised many things in the last one month so you will have to revise these notes or whatever you have revised in the last one month in this five and half hours i will tell you how to revise then you will be, be giving a quick revision okay this is not a lengthy revision i'll have divided like for example uh, biochem is a big subject if you are giving six hours means within six hours you should finish biochem and in this six hours total i have divided five and half hours for revision and 30 minutes for the pulse pulse of all subject and i'll tell you how to use this pulse on the last day one day prior to neat exam 30 minutes for this pulse or treasure which will contain only memorization topics and these memorization topics won't be the ones which will be repeated in the revision okay this won't be repeated in this 5 and 1/2 hours even though if it is repeated those will be those things which are very important for memorization purpose okay and you will be using pomodoro technique when you go ahead with this subjects so coming on see just take screenshot i don't want to uh, create a long video uh, long video and waste your time because there is so much less time and every minute counts in your preparation now so just take photo of all the uh, slides that i show you okay this is for surgery 5 and 1/2 hour this is how you have to divide time okay i'll just give a prototype like for example breast you will be giving 30 minutes for your notes or whatever revision you have done in the last one month then endocrine will be giving 30 minutes so you'll be total dedicating 5 and 1/2 hours in this order only because this order is according to maximum output that you can get okay so i have given a lot of uh, consideration to the time and the maximum output that you can get, get okay so after revising surgery for 5 and 1/2 hours you will be going through these pearls or treasures in your respective coaching app so for example in surgery you will be going through these pearls in 30 minutes okay so that you will be bookmarking these pearls so that these pearls will be revising on june 22nd that is one day prior to neat exam got it next anatomy this is the uh, portion you to be covered in 4 hours okay you have to divide 
uh, anatomy topics according to this order okay and these are the anatomy pearls okay so these are the important topics and also you have to go through image bank revision quick revision for, especially for cadaveric images in anatomy next ortho this is for ortho okay take a screenshot of this this is for uh, this is for this much is for day one one big subject one average subject and one short subject so for day two you have to start with biochemistry okay this is the uh, time allotment for biochemistry this is for biochemistry pearls okay especially these clinical pearls are very important in biochemistry then this is for pediatrics second subject will be pediatrics on day two okay this is how you divide and uh, the short subject for day two is ENT where you will be covering ear and nose only okay and that because you are allotted two hours and on day three you will be covering throat I will tell you so day two is over next for day three you will be going in this order you will be covering obstetrics in first three hours gynecology in the next two and a half hours and you will be dedicating this timings okay and these are the pearls you should note for OBG okay these are the very important pearls the ones you will tend to forget okay so the second subject is Oftal. okay so Oftal will be dedicating three hours and not four hours because one hour of Oftal you will be dedicating for ENT so here off tell again this is the division and in the pearls you will be going through these important pearls see i have not made note of these pearls which are not actually there in these topics okay so that you actually get a, a better edge in the exam okay so ent uh, 30 minutes will be dedicating to throat on day two and 30 minutes for pearls so that off tell three hours and ent one hour that is compensated okay and these are the ent pearls so this is for forensic last two hours uh, you will be going to this topic in this order only and for pearls mainly you will be focusing on this bns maybe questions will be asked on this next this will be day after day three you will take a slightly longer nap or sleep at night so that on day four you will have slightly extra to cover because you'll be covering medicine plus micro also okay both are big subjects so medicine very important six hours are there if you already watch any revision videos or deepak marwa's revision videos on uh, youtube then just revise for three hours okay three hours you have to go in this order three or four hours okay start with cns cvs and end with git if you're not able to end git also it's fine but start with cvs because cvs is most important and in addition to that focus on these topics clinical part of cvs ecg okay cns stroke localization if, if you're not thorough at least give half an hour or at least one hour for the stroke localization topic it is very important one question will definitely come from this so these are basically the pearls okay if you are still extra time after this i don't think anyone will have extra time if you still have extra time go through some pearls okay so microbiology six hours you have to go in this order only and then these are the pearls okay these are very important pearls and also you have to go through image based especially for like stool over cyst okay virus structure inclusion bodies images so these are the things which you have to go through images then on the last day you will be giving one hour each um, 30 minutes for anesthesia and 30 minutes for radio and in this time you will be revising the pearls of these topics anesthesia these pearls and radio these pearls okay and if you get extra time then you will be going through your notes or revision of anesthetic drugs muscle relaxants and these topics okay if you have time only or else you just go through these important pearls okay so this is done day three is, day four is done so for day five you will be going through pathology in this order and pathology pearls next you will be going through physiology four hours okay and then you will be going through dermatology this is the topic for dermatology and revise image bank for dermatology because again questions from lesions will be asked then day six start with pharmacology these are the topics to be covered If you have time extra in pharmacology, then go through these pearls also, okay, because these are also important. And also when I told you, you know, like here, hemat, onco, CVS, endo, CNS, that means that you have to especially focus on these topics, whatever I have given here, okay. You have to focus on these topics, endo, bisphosphonates plus diabetes, okay. Then PSM, four hours, go in this order and these will be the pearls that we'll be focusing on, okay. For psychiatry, these are the topics that you should cover, especially postpartum depression. It is asked n number of times. Okay, so and this timeline of psychiatric disorder, there, there is a pearl or treasure uh, on timeline of psychiatric disorder, which will uh, summarize everything in one go. Okay, so once you have finished these things for day six, what you will be doing on day seven? Mostly on day seven, you will be traveling to your exam center, or you might be like uh, uh, resting on day seven. At that time, your main thing is to revise these pearls or treasures what you had bookmarked in the last six days. That is your main job. 
that means you will be going through all those important memorization topics in this last uh, last day okay last one day before the exam and on the day of the exam wake up at 6 30 reach the exam center by uh, 7 38 okay these are the last minute steps of precautions to be taken exam center you have to go one day prior only okay if you have motion sickness take um, anti-motion sickness medications because motion sickness will actually ruin your exam don't give gts in this last one week keep admit card and id proof ready revise pearls on june 22 this is the most important thing because these pearls which i showed are the most high yielding and the confusing topics okay for example rickett shy it's very confusing unless you revise this pearl on june 22 you won't be able to uh, get a good mark in exam even if this question is asked okay and if time permits apart from these six days uh, whatever time is permit uh, if you get time on day seven then go through ini ct record 2024 especially the questions only brush up quickly maybe in one and a half or two hours okay okay so here we come to the end of this series i started this uh, video series for neat pg 2024 in the month of february so it has been almost uh, five months and i have uh, two important announcements to make so i had started this video um, with around uh, uh, 500 views in first day okay 500 to 700 views on first day and uh, later on my videos became so popular that uh, uh, at the end of uh, like right now when i upload video i get more than 1000 views in just one hour so that means that that my videos have made a lot of impact so this announcement is that this will be the last video of the series for NETPG 2024 and uh, membership which I started I started the um, the aim of my um, the membership uh, program that I started that is on call strategy discussion on individual basis was because I was getting a lot of uh, comments and lo lot of te texts on email that uh, they need uh, students need help okay. okay so I think this membership also has helped few, helped many many people okay so the uh, after this NEET PG, I will be wrapping up membership and those who are active members till now, their uh, membership will continue till the day of NEET PG. Once that is done, I will be cancelling this membership. Okay, So this will be the last video of this series. and. Uh, I really want to thank everyone who has been a part of uh, my journey so far because uh, uh, starting uh, with these videos was an uh, uh, was just a dream initially, uh, which later on I uh, implemented, uh, and I had no uh, I had no I didn't dream that uh, uh, it would be so, I would be so uh, popular by this time. So now I see that even the need. PG uh, strategy videos that I uploaded the question paper prediction part uh, that has got around 95,000 to 1 lakh views just in one one and a half months so that uh, shows that how you people have believed in me you people have uh, actually believed in my methods and I get so many comments in my uh, chat box and also in my email that uh, my uh, strategies have actually helped you and many people have seen increase in marks in GTs increase in score in GTs and many of people have got positive confidence that they can actually crack this neat exam so i wish you all the best so initially when i started this neat pg guidance series in my first video i told you that i'll be guiding you throughout this journey till neat pg uh, ends okay so at that time i didn't know that i would make a lot of impact in your lives so i want to conclude with this uh, short poem that when you create a difference in someone's life you not only impact their life you impact everyone influenced by them throughout their entire lifetime no act is ever too small one by one this is how to make an ocean rise so and i'm very happy if you score a very good rank because uh, uh, i'll be the happiest person uh, i didn't dream that i didn't think that this my videos will actually be uh, so much life changing for people okay but when people call me they tell me that how these uh, videos how my strategies have helped them so i'm very happy for that sake and all the best for your exam uh, use all my strategies those who have been regularly following my videos know all the strategies how to crack this exam it's not only based on what you study it's based on how you plan yourself how you plan for the exam okay so all the best for your exam and once you once your exam is done just let me know in my email id which is mentioned in my description on how my videos have helped you how this revision strategies or maybe pre prediction strategies have helped you so till then all the best focus on your exam may this be uh, may this uh, exam bring you uh, better luck and a change in your future thank you so much